Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Apps. Today we are going to see how we set up definition access sets. First, let us understand what is definition access set. It's a new feature in Oracle R12 where this definition access set allows you to secure, use, view, and modify privileges for specific general ledger definitions like mass allocations or FSG from being updated by others. So you might have seen so many times in your day-to-day -day, uh, activities where you might have created a um, FSG uh, column set for example. Someone might go and change it so you might see the data what you want to see is not coming and later on you find that someone gone and changed the column set or rows, row access set and all that. So in order to avoid people, other people from modifying your definitions, what we are going to do is restrict those access rights. So we have three different types of privileges you can give, use, view and modify. If you select view access, then the user can only submit or generate reports using those definitions. He or she cannot view or modify them. If you say view access, then he or she can only view the definitions, but he, cannot, he or she cannot use it for any running reports or modify them. And the third and final one, if you assign the modify access rights, the user can view and modify them, but he cannot use the definition for generating any data. So these are all the three rights we have. Now let us see how we do the setup. Go to a general ledger super user. Let us take for example XSGL setup financials definition access sets and define. Let's first create a new definition access set. We say test Spocksoft data access set. You, you have two ways of assigning this definition access set. One, you can go from here, select um, what our definitions we have in GL like mass allocations or report, FSG report, content set, column sets, all that and then you can restrict them from here. The other option of doing it is you can just simply save this here and then go to a assignment, select the responsibility which you want the users to be restricted from and assign the definition access set what we created now and this access set will give the user only to use them it will not allow them to save them so now you save this assignment, go to a definition, let's take an example, mass allocation, Assume we have this definition which we don't want the users to view or modify. So you enable the security and as soon as you enable the security checkbox, the assign access button enables. Click on the assign access button. On the definition access set, give the definition access set name and then we just say use. We are not saying go and modify or 
view that so assign it save click ok save it and close this this is how we make sure that the definitions of uh, mass allocation for example allocation example is not getting viewed or modified by people who are using the SS general ledger responsibility so let us see whether that works let's log in with the other responsibility go to journals define allocation control F11 see you won't see them here because we are taken off the view and modify access for this responsibility now you don't see them that is the second formula that was coming on the seeded values now you don't see them that's how you restrict the access of other users from viewing or modifying the definition hope it was very useful similar online trainings are available in our website learns app learn app sorry and if you have any questions please contact us